In this video, we will learn how to return 200 status code from ASP.NET Core Web API Controller Action Method. To understand this concept, let's create a new controller inside this controllers folder. Since we are using the same application that we have created in our ASP.NET Core video series. Now right click on controllers folder, then click add controller. Here choose API, then API controller empty, then click add. Here controller name will be animals controller then click add now let's create a model class inside this models folder right click add class class name will be animal model then click add inside this class let's add few properties type integer property name is id Let's add one more property type string and then property name is name. Just save it in animals controller. Let's create simple action method public i action result and then method name get animals return. We need to return animal data here. To return the data with proper status code, we need to use some methods. In order to return the proper status code, ASP.NET Core Framework provides some built-in methods and using those methods, we can format uh, our response data. Here, the good thing is that we don't need to remember all these methods. Just right click on this controller base class, then click go to definition. You can see here, this is an abstract class with lots of properties and methods. Here, let's search for OK method, scroll down. Here we have two OK methods. First method uh, doesn't take any input parameter. We'll create an object that will produce an empty HTTP 200 status code as a response. This second uh, overloaded method takes an object. It may be uh, any type of value, um, as an input and creates an object that will produce HTTP 200 status code as a response. Now let's understand both the methods one by one. The return type of first method is OK result. Now let's see the definition of this OK result. Right click on OK result then choose go to definition. See here this OK result is inherited from uh, status code result. Again right click on status code result uh, go to definition. Uh, you can see here uh, this status code result is inherited from action result, i client error action result, i status code action result, and i action result. So uh, we can use this i action result return type for this OK method. Inside this status code result, we have one property status code. Using this property, we can set the proper status code. Now, um, we can use this first OK method to return the data. Now, let's see the definition of this OK method. See here, it returns 200 OK status code. If you want to return uh, 200 status code from your application, then you can use this OK method. In animals controller, return this OK method. Inside this OK method, enter some text, um, let's say all animals, save it, uh, see the base route here, uh, API and then controller name. So in the URL, we have to append API, then this uh, animal controller, run this application. Now navigate to the URL, first we have to append API, then controller name animals. Press enter. Here we got the output uh, from this method. Okay, let's see the status code for that. Right click, then click inspect. Go to network tab. Here, docs. Again, refresh this page. Here we have one call animals. Under this address, you can see request method is get. Status code is 200. Now, instead of returning this string, 
uh, we can return custom data for example um, we need to return list of animals that we can fetch from database or other source here we are learning uh, methods only so we can use out coded value so stop the execution you declare a variable where animals equal new list of animal model you add the namespace you will add the outcoded value new animal model id equal 1 then name equal let's say cat copy this line put comma and paste it change the id dog now we have to return uh, this animal variable as a response of this method okay copy this and instead of this string we will return animals list of animals okay now save and run this app again now refresh this page see you Uh, we have request method get and status code two zero zero. Then see the response in JSON format. Here we are having list of animals. Uh, this OK method is very useful for get type request. I hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching this video.